This is episode four, Maddie Fitzpatrick interviews with Mr. Mosby. Mr. Mosby begins. All right, Maddie, it is now your turn to tell me about your qualifications and why you think you would be a good replacement for me. Well, Mr. Mosby, I'm one of the most well-liked people working here. I feel as if I can keep the team happy and working together. My interpersonal skills and communication skills could be a great asset as a manager. So far, you have only been at the candy counter in sales. What makes you think you can be a manager? Well, currently I'm in business school and I'm taking a wide range of classes. From accounting to management to marketing, I think I could really help this hotel flourish and succeed. Being at the candy counter, I've gotten to know the hotel staff really well. I also engage with guests on a daily basis, so I know how to communicate professionally both to the staff and the guests of the hotel alike. I know sales, marketing, and accounting, so I can help with many aspects of the hotel and also maintain a cohesive work environment. Well, what about your school schedule, Maddie? How would that affect your ability to be here any time? For instance, if we had an emergency, could you be here at the drop of a hat? Well, you know, Mr. Mosby, I guess I can't lie. I can't promise I would always be able to rush here at any moment. I suppose my school hours could compromise my ability to devote myself fully to this position. I'm good at time management with work and school, but I suppose a situation could arise where I would be unable to make it, like if I were in the middle of an exam or something. Okay, well, thank you for your honesty, Maddie. Let's see. If one of the staff were to be repeatedly late to work, would you be able to discipline them? Possibly even fire them if needed. Um, well, I suppose I could if I had to. I guess I never considered the uglier side of management. It isn't an easy job, Maddie. You may be personable and a great communicator. However, objectivity and hard decisions are part of the gig as well. Also, the ability to to devote your time fully to this job is very important. I know you're a responsible girl with many wonderful attributes. Perhaps there's a position for you, maybe one that could utilize your skills more effectively than the candy counter. Once a manager's chosen, an assistant manager is also needed. So let's wait and see what happens, but don't be discouraged just yet, Maddie. All right, Mr. Mosby. Well, that sounds good to me. Thank you for this opportunity. I'll see you later. Have a great day. You too, Maddie. Thank you.